Well, what I would, one of the privileges that we lack in modern journalism is to do, and the people who listen to my series will be bored about me going on about this, but one of the reasons I moved to Spain was you could go and watch, as a journalist, you could go and watch training, mm. because training is at least as fascinating as matches, and it's the bedrock of how a group unites, plays intelligently, and, and wins. Training under Xavi is, to me, pretty fascinating, and I'm lucky a couple of weeks back he gave us the privilege of watching half an hour. One of the things that I really want to understand is what they call here the Juegos Asociativos, where mm. there are games, it looks like a summer camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Let's yeah, yeah. pretend to play basketball, or there's six guys, and you've got to put the ball in the dustbin yeah, yeah, after yeah, you've yeah. used both shoulders. Or Now, it just looks like massive fun, <laughs> and like a summer camp, yeah. but what does it do to you? Why are you using these? I think it's really intelligent they're doing this because it's it's all about coming close together. You know, if if you as as, as players, as persons, as, as having fun together, if if you just start yeah with the warm up and then you start doing the tactical things and that's it, you you just it's like. I cannot say that it's like another day at work, but it's 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 different, you know. It, they it try stays to make, ordinary. Yeah, they try to every day. They try to or every day. They, every other day, they try to do other games and 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 try to keep. Yeah, how do you, uh, cognitive, cognitive. Co- what you what you yeah, cognitive. So yeah, cognitive. Words, yeah, yeah, it's, cognitive. It's games making you think and, yeah. and, and and adapt. Adapt and on everything and and to keep your also you think your brain. Yeah, sharp, sharp, and 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 uh, and also what I said, bringing us closer together and and and, and letting us have some fun as well. Yeah. But in these games, you you truly, whether it's four v four or five v five, and sometimes it's against a stopwatch, mm. you truly compete, right? Yeah, yeah, we, and that's flat that's, out. Yeah, but that's then you can also tell wh- which players are a little bit clever. You know, they try to uh, go around the rules or bend the rules. Yeah, yeah. bend the rules and 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 yeah. Yeah, and, and who is really some, you can also tell the players who always want to win, even these small little games, you know, that's, that's, that's funny to see. Yeah. One of the things that, that the, the, the legacy that, a, a, a few years ago I wrote a book about Football Club Barcelona and then we made it into a movie mm. with Universal Studios called okay. Take the Ball, Pass the Ball. We went out to Qatar to interview Xavi at length because he's been a friend for a long time and he explained the one thing this club can never do is abandon the, the, the Cruyff idea. Mm. It became the Reichardt, the, the Guardiola idea. It adapts. But he said there's adaptation, but we must never... Now, what did happen was that in, in previous seasons before he came back, and I don't, I don't care to talk about them, so don't mm. worry, the ideas did get abandoned. And one of the things that have been really clear in the last four months has been the change back to pressing, mm. possession, and positional play. Mm. Did you really get taught that before? Because it's more a concept associated with the Ajax school, but maybe yeah. you at Twente or maybe uh, uh, PSV, yeah. you learned it. And if not, how difficult or how has the learning process been for position <coughs> play here? Um, first of all, in Holland, I think I've learned quite a lot about about this uh, position, possession and pressure because pre- pressure, it's, it's because I think in Holland the, the level of intelligence is quite high about right. about what you say the Ajax school, but the, all the other teams also try to to do this. And uh, in, in, in FC Twente, when we were winning champion, we also yeah, did this really well. Uh, and, and, and in PSV, the years I've played there, we we also and I've, I've grown a lot there in, in thinking. Yeah, not only about playing for fun, but also thinking about what to do in different situations and stuff like that. And and yeah, what you say. I think here, Xavi is really trying to bring this, 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 yeah, this back into the team that you, that we are really becoming a machine in in, in dominating games with the position of the ball. And if we lose it, press directly and, and press high and 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 keeping the players in positions. And, and yeah, it's, I can really tell that 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 we are really making big steps in this as a team at the moment. And as somebody who watched Barca before from a distance, mm. am I, in your case, but am I right in suggesting to you that Xavi's model is a little different too, because certainly mm. under Pep Guardiola, mm. and I remember under Cruyff and Rexach when mm. they came to be coaches, 
the ball didn't really get played either vertically mm. or in very much. But Xavi has a, an open mind and it's like a blend of the two ideas. It's very much possession. It's very much about using yeah. the ball in an intelligent way, divide, play triangles. Mm. But for the benefit of forwards like you, the yeah, ball yeah. does get played in. But he's also, he's always pushing us to make runs behind the, the, the defensive line that we, if somebody like the midfield players or the wingers, that, that if they make the run, we need to give those balls and, and yeah, these vertical balls. And, and also, he also says when, for example, I come in, he yeah. also tells the, the, the other players, like, Luke is this kind of, the, of type of player, give him the crosses, give him the balls. And, and I think this is really important that, that, that and of course, it, 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 we were, I, 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 we were, it worked out and I scored some goals. So that's also in football important because some players, if you give a lot of cross and then we never score a goal, we only lose, lose the ball, the players will also start thinking now. They, they don't do it no, anymore. No, they don't anymore. So that's, that's how people work, you know, in, in their minds. So it's also really good that, that I, I could score some goals out of this, but it's also because the mister yeah, really pushed the players, like give him, give him the crosses and, and, and that's, yeah, it, it also depends on which, which type of players are playing. Because I'm so fascinated by Xavi, what's it like being taught by him? From a distance, mm. he's an unbelievable communicator and, and in some footballers they can do it. Mm. In some footballers they can do it and understand it. Mm. But to have all three to be able to do it, to understand it and explain it, yeah. again makes him nearly unique. Maybe mm. not unique, but close to it. When you are being shown a video, when you are being talked through things in the training ground, mm. what's the experience like? And, and am I right about his communication skills? Yeah, 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 definitely right. He, what you s is exactly what you've said. He's like, he, he's been able to do it, but also think about it and, and communicate perfectly with, with the videos he's showing us before games, after games, what we have to do better and, 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 and yeah, and even the things we're doing good, we have to improve and, and yeah, he's, he's just trying to give us all the right information, but not like too much, you know, there's always also some coaches who give too much information. They're like talking oh, yeah. half an hour and then, and, and, and you see players after 10 minutes, not, not, not bored. Pay, yeah, bored, not paying attention anymore because they're, they're not explaining. You have to be really detailed and, 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 and how do you say, it has to be like, in, uh, how do you, I don't know how the English word, but, but to be de de detailed and compact, you know, like, like yeah. that people just pick it up and, and do it the next. And then, of course, you have the players in Barca who can, can do it on the, the pitch as well, because I think it would be more difficult for him as a coach, as a team where where the players don't have the intelligence to 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 do it in the pitch. So having Busquets, for example, who, yeah. who lives and breathes the same concept, yeah. that helps Xavi beyond what Busquets does with the ball, yeah. but he's organi he's like an, a voice on the pitch, this way, that yeah. way. Uh, exactly, and then you have like players where it's in the midfield with Pedri and Frankie who are also, uh, yeah, pick this up really easily.